friends. Uh, so we're going to do everything in English, and we'd like to welcome you. I'm so happy that you are the first ones to see my garden. Um, very proud that we managed to uh, get it finished, more or less. And so, so happy to have my good friend from Japan coming all the way to show you how the Japanese top aquascapers are doing their magic. Uh, both of them are well known and have a track record of beautiful aquascapes. Uh, we had to choose uh, one aquascaper each night, but tonight it's going to be Stephen, and he has the most fantastic assistant, yes. which is Kalasa. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they are both in a time zone where I can see him already. So, uh, we gave him coffee a lot. <laughs>
that uh, with the Mikato Monte Carlo. You know this plant, right? It's a foreground plant. It grows and spreads by layers. It also tends to do creeping down. Uh, it tends to grow always. First of all, I'm going to say that I really enjoyed working with Frodo, but it's very difficult. Too much variation of color and texture. But what we did was we made a kind of hybrid between Japanese style yogumi and maybe mm -hmm. Minato for Giorama, because it's like my idea is a cold, fast river. When before when I saw Frodo, I always thought it seems like a very cold mountain stream type of stone, and so that was my image mm -hmm. making it. Um, the plants, Jokus Ripens. Uh, the different Monte Carlo and Cuba hair grass. I only chose different types of cool green plants that would work with that fast flowing image. And uh, we're going to put Alabama rainbow shine image.